Hey guys, today I am going to do something that hopefully will be really helpful for you guys. It's no secret, I'm really bad at telling you the decal codes that I use for my builds, also color codes. I'm trying to work on it, but I'm not the best. She looks so sad back there. So in this video, I am going to tell you guys my favorite colors to use for my realistic house builds move this it's not centered i also can do a future video where i tell you my favorite decals to use maybe my favorite plants as in like plant decals and trees and stuff if that is something that you guys want to see let me know but anyways for my realistic house build there's nothing i'd like to use more than just neutrals obviously that's not everyone's cup of tea but in my previous builds if you guys like those this is the video for you because i'm going to tell you my favorite colors to use i loaded in one of my plots that i bulldozed in my deleting video and it what is this mailbox? If anyone remembers what this is from, let me know because I'm really confused why I would paint the mailbox like this. Anyways, so as you can see, my custom color palette is fully stocked up and I'm going to tell you what I use all of them for. The first one, the main one, is always what I use for my wood colors. I don't love any of the pre-made wood colors. I know there was a phase where we all used linen. These are a bunch of wood colors with the color linen not gonna lie though it's looking a little dark and orange tinted one of the things that's major for me about my neutral colors is what their undertone is i loved it for the time but now when i'm thinking realistic it's just it's a little too like artificial kind of i don't really know how to explain that so the colors that i use now are the first three ones in my little palette here this first one is my go-to for my flooring as you can see it is a lot less orangey here is what it looks like inside of a room as you can see it doesn't pull any of those orange colors like linen does you can compare this is linen which is still a nice orange color and then this is the one that i like to use a little bit more these are also perfect i think for the summer season like the coastal homes i also have two more this one right here is a lot lighter as you can see here's the first one the second one and then i have a third color just to show you a comparison this is one two and three and then say that i want to use a wood table on top if i'm using the third one on my floor then i'll use one of the other ones for my main wood color for my furniture if that makes sense obviously this is very like sterile and not not cute just to tell you my thought process just so i'm not using the exact same wood color for the floor a table a chair like now i also use these base colors but then change the darkness accordingly so say i want to use this tone of brown but I want it to be darker. I'll use the slider right here and make it as light or as dark as I want. But the main point of having these colors down here to choose from is that I use their, what's the word? Like the hues. I have three more kind of nude colors. I like to use slightly off-white colors for my walls. So I will use something like this one, which you can see if you compare it to the white. This has a little bit more of a peachy color to it. Obviously my room right now is really, really white. But if you are trying to make like a cozy realistic house maybe you don't want the walls to be stark white so this is a really good color also this one that i have they're all so similar but i promise the undertones make a huge difference i went ahead and put all of my nude colors next to each other so that you can compare i'll use these colors for anything but those are my go-to uses for those now i skipped over this blue color because i want to show you i think it's a really beautiful color for a kitchen or built-ins or something like that that's what i use this for obviously there are multiple blues but i will just show you like in comparison to all of these this one has like a more gray undertone i feel like i'm gonna use that word so much and then just going along with the blues i have this one which is more of kind of like a sea foam this one is for literally anything decorations walls beautiful and then i have this color as well which is a lot lighter like a more baby blue with a slight tint of green going along with my greens i have this one i don't know why i'm using cabinets for this but i guess i guess i am this is a beautiful sage green blocksburg does have this one but if you kind of compare it to mine the default giving a little bit more yellow if you're not really into color theory everything that i'm saying probably doesn't really matter to you but just trust me on this i also have slightly darker greens so there's this one this one 
and this one. These are all beautiful shades of green, emerald green. I love them so much. I think if you use these for kitchens or accent walls or literally just decorations, stunning. Another color that I have here that I really love is this really deep brown. This is really funny. I'm so bad at explaining these. But you can see it's kind of like a really deep plum. This is what it looks like in like the wood planks as well as just regular wood. Speaking of browns, I also have this color. If you're kind of comparing it to the colors that Bloxburg has already, it's really just a more gray undertone. I love it to also use if I want to have darker wood. I think this is beautiful. Like I said earlier, you can just move this up and down. That's what I love about this color wheel. You can literally make any color. As you can see, I also have a little gold color down here. I like using gold accents for things. I think the default Bloxburg colors are great as well. I just want wanted something that was a little bit more yellow than all of these so I just made this one that was a little quick addition I think that is all for now for my custom colors you can obviously buy more slots but I have yet to do so this is kind of my like summer fall neutral palette but maybe I will add on to it in the future and make another video I just wanted to go over two more things really quickly so everyone always asks about what color lighting I do let me open up one of my builds and and I will show you why I picked the lighting that I do. It always takes so long. <laughs> I will show you a house in action. The lighting in here is so just soft. I think it looks so beautiful. It's not as harsh as just using white lighting. Let me show you what I do. So if you've seen people's realistic builds before, I've noticed that a lot of people use flint. And so I tried it, but as you can see, flint is this one on the far right side here. It's so dark. So I have seen a lot of realistic builds where people actually like using really dark lighting. But if you're like me and you don't, I take the flint color as it is. But then I bring this lever over here, lever toggle. I don't know. And I bring it up as high as I want to, not all the way to the very top, because as you can see, it starts leaving a little bit of a glare, but just about right here. This is the exact lighting color that this build had all around. I think it's perfect. I love it so much. I have one more little tip for you guys, but I need to find a build where I actually used it. So here is a really small example of what I want to tell you. When I have black in my build, it's not actually fully black. This is kind of just a little random tip that I find useful in certain cases but basically when I want to use black in my builds whether it's an accent or like an entire table is black I don't use the really black color I find it looks a little bit better and it reflects light a little bit more so there's you know more shadows and highlights if you at least use the black not really black but black this might be really hard to show and I feel like that's the thing it's like you can either tell the difference or you can't but here is the desktop using the really black color here's just black this kind of looks like it's just flat it's 2d you can't really see through it but if you use the black you can kind of see a little bit of the edges i don't know that's just a random tip that i i literally always do i never use the really black color unless you know there's a reason for it so yeah i think that is all the tips that i have for this video for what i like to use as my favorite colors specifically for realistic house builds i hope that this was useful for you if you are trying to build your own realistic house or maybe you found one of mine that you like but you can't exactly figure out the right color I hope you can refer back to this video. Honestly, I'm always updating my colors. Even though I love all of the ones that I have now, I will try to use it in one video and then I'll tweak the color slightly and that'll just be a game changer for me. I'm so weird about colors. Like I can pick out the undertone. Have you ever seen, this is a side note, little tangent, but if you've seen the filter on TikTok where you get a time limit and you have to match a color perfectly using the red, green, and blue sliders. I love doing that and I feel like I'm so good at it it anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see another video like this but on a different topic let me know i love learning new things and sharing them with you guys so i hope that this was helpful if you did find it helpful please like this video subscribe if you have not already all my social medias are in the description if you want to go give those a follow i also have a discord server if you guys want to join that but yeah i will see you guys in the next one